All right, so in our room struct, we're going to have to add these doors. So it's the doors are going to be at a position, which we worked on last video. And they're going to be an array of four items. Because uh, there's a possibility of four doors. So I think that's all we need there. We're going to use a random number. So in order to do that, we're going to, have to we are going to have to include time dot h, and that will enable us to use random numbers. Okay. So in our function create rooms. So many functions. Uh, so create room. This is where we're going to add our door. So uh, we can do that down here. We need to call the function s rand time. No. like that. And this will allow us to call the rand function for a random number. So we're going to make use of that because um, we don't want the doors to show up in the same place uh, each time. We want it to be to be different each time. So uh, in our new room, in our door, now remember, this is not dynamically allocated. This is not a pointer, so we can use the dot operator to get our position. Now this door zero here, our door is an array of positions. So we can get dot x equals Random. Okay, so now let's think about this for a second. Okay, so we want the door to be up here. So, oops. We don't really want it in this position, but we'll ignore that for now. We want it in any of these positions. So, just thinking of it in its simplest form right now, it can be this is the width and we have that information in our room struct. And so the door can be placed at the Y position, Y positions up and down, and then anywhere along the width. Okay. So what that's going to look like is new room door dot X. So this is the X position. Remember that. And then random, we're going to use the modulus operator and width. So what this does here is it just gives us a, a value, a random value in the range of zero to whatever this width is, which in our case, I think is eight, I believe. Uh, so we're going to we'll modify that a little bit, but uh, for now, that's good. So that's the X x coordinate of the position and then the y again remember we said it's just it's always it's for this door it's always going to be constant so it's just going to be your this up here so this is a top door Okay, so then if we do the, uh, let's do bottom door. So uh, the X is going to be the same. It'll just be a random, random spot here. But then for the Y position, it's going to be the new room dot Y position, which is up here plus the height of the room. 
So plus new room height. So that's the bottom door. Okay, so now we want the left door. And we're just, for now, it will just be automatically that every room gets four doors. Eventually we'll change that. But, uh, okay, so the left door, it's kind of gonna be reverse. So we'll start with the Y position and it's going to be any random number along here. Ooh, one thing is we also have to add our X position uh, because we're not accounting for all this. So we just need to add that in, if that makes sense. Uh, so here it has to be, we add in the Y position. And then this will just be the X position, which is always going to be, it's always going to be along here somewhere. No, sorry. Yeah, no, that's true. No, that's not. Um, what am I doing here? Your X, yeah, so it will always be along here, yeah. No, it will always be along here, right? Okay, so this is Y, this is X. Okay, sorry. I got myself confused there. And then our right door. The final door. So here it's going to be plus width. Because it's always going to be along here. Okay, so. We'll save that and then in our draw room, we'll draw the doors down here. So draw doors. Yeah, so we're gonna draw doors down here. Um, so just move print W and we're going to draw and go to our war. Y position, so room, doors, first door, dot Y. We'll use this quite a bit. Dot X, and just draw the, draw the door, which will be a plus sign. Copy and paste that three other times and then just change the numbers. Okay, so this maybe worked. Let's compile it, see what happens. Okay, room has no member named doors. It's because we called it door. Why do we call it door? Doors makes more sense because it's plural, so. Try that. All right, there we go. Now it hasn't exactly worked, has it? So we're always getting a door here, which is not what I want. Um, And I'm wondering if it's because we haven't dynamically allocated this. I'm wondering if that's the reason. Yeah, that might do it. Even though we're setting the values here, because it's not passed by reference or passed by value, 
I don't think that they're getting saved. So we're going to change that, which is a bit of a pain. But we're just going to make this a star star. So now it's still an array, but we're going to tell it. We're basically going to create it. So new room. New room doors equals malloc size of position times four. And then we will also do new room door zero equals malloc size of position and then just copy and paste that oh that's interesting we forgot to change all these numbers I wonder if that was half the problem mm, we've already made the change so it's kind of too late but yeah that's important so that would that would explain some of it um right so now we have to change all these that And the X's as well. Uh, let's just clear it. Okay, so no errors. Let's see if it's working now. Okay, so we have... Huh. That's interesting. Let's, let's just run that again. That's interesting. So are we getting random doors? That's kind of what I'm wondering because it almost looks like the doors are in the same position each time. Um, it doesn't look random to me. That's the problem I'm at right now. I mean, I guess there is some randomness going on, but okay, these are always in the top corner. Well, not always, but like, it just doesn't look right. It's not acting in a, a random manner at all, as far as I'm concerned. I'm wondering you're only supposed to call this once. So what would happen? This might not do it, but let's let's try moving this up here. What happens now? Okay, that looks a little better to me. I don't know if that did anything, but to me, it looks more random now. Maybe I'm just crazy. So we'll only call that once. Don't put it in a function that's going to get called multiple times. Um, you know, let's even put that in screen setup just so it's not in our main. Um, yeah, okay. So what else do we need to work on? Right here, we're overshooting by one. Here we're overshooting by one. So let's fix that. Um, so the bottom door is overshooting by one. So that would be the Y position. 
So minus one and the right door. Minus one. Okay, so they are all getting saved here, but we don't want we don't want any of the doors kind of ending up here in the corner. So that would be your top door. And we're getting a number between Okay, so what we want to do is we want to, uh, I think we just want to add one. Or we want to add one, but we want to subtract one from here. So what that will do is it will now give us this range. So it will never end up here, it will always end up here, and it won't end up there. If that makes sense. We're adding one and subtracting one. And we want to do that for the bottom as well. So, and that's in your X position. So width minus one is the new range. So this right here is your range. And then adding one to the starting position. And that's the best I can explain it. And so you can see now, they shouldn't end up in any of those corners. Oh, but they do. That's weird. Um, well, let's fix this right, right now. This is the left door, so let's fix that. It's gonna be the same idea. So left door, um, your height, the range will be minus one. Make sure they're in brackets order of operations, and then plus one to the Y position. Same thing down here. Plus one. There's a lot of like little math stuff going on here that I guess I'm not very good at. But um, So there should be no corners, no corner doors. And if we keep running it, oh, there's one right there. Hmm. So I don't really know. Is that the? Oh, it's. I'm wondering if it has to be minus two. Let's try that. Uh, because if it was just minus one, it would kind of give us this range, but minus two gives us this range. And that appears to have worked. So uh, we still can't, we can't do anything with the doors, but they're there, they're showing up correctly. And uh, I think for this tutorial, that's good enough. We shall add some hallways in the next video.